<laughs> it does take forever to edit videos. Does <laughs> it? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna fall on this stuff because I'm filming on GoPro. Alright. So we are here at the Moab 240, mile 14. Off to a slow start very different than a lot of or all the other races I've ever done because now whenever I run at the beginning of this race I'm thinking to myself not how will this impact me tonight in the night section or how will this impact me tomorrow I'm thinking how is this going to impact me tomorrow the next day on Sunday I'm oh, sorry Saturday Sunday and then Monday and Tuesday let's see here um, so very different mentality trying to conserve energy as much as possible wasn't really expecting for the months leading up to this for it to be a uh, a rainy a rainy race but uh, at the last minute rain gear was deemed mandatory for all participants um, and uh, the snow course was put into effect because of an incoming storm on Tuesday. So my hope is that we finish uh, uh, Tuesday morning at some point. Um, it'd be nice to avoid that storm. But, uh, you know, we have to be cold for a little bit at the end. I mean, the main goal here is to get a finish. But Moab is beautiful. Even with all the rain, just adds another challenge to the mix. Moab 240, we made it to the Colorado River. <laughs> this is so cool. What a beautiful start to the race. We just passed the mouse of back. Yeah. Making friends. This is Ramon. Oh, are you kidding? <laughs> you, want, <laughs> you want to be on YouTube? <laughs> what up? Sure. <laughs> uh, beautiful views. Cool. This is sweet. What a beautiful course so far. Everyone is smiling despite the rain. <laughs> We're having a great time. I just had a chicken quesadilla that was bomb. Oh, yeah, it smells so good. Mm. Yeah, I figure most of this will be. This slick rock is not going to make for a fast day. But... <laughs> 
Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, we're at mile like 18. <laughs> Let's talk tomorrow. <laughs> oh yeah, I got a video. This is wild. Let's <laughs> get a shot with you with all that in the background. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> I'm here for Instagram pictures and videos. <laughs> If you guys want a photo, you have to take photos of me. Um, I'll get a photo in a minute. Holy shit. Jackson's letter. Alright, so we are here on Jackson's letter, getting our pictures taken. <laughs> this is absurd. This section's gonna be a little slower with all the rain. There was some mud a moment ago. But uh, and some slick rock. But wow, how cool is this? Let's take a look at what we got. Yeah, this is amazing. <laughs> We're going all the way down there, down the Congo line. <laughs> Moab 240 log, sole number one. If you've ever watched uh, or read The Martian, a sole is like the first day on Mars. <laughs> we have landed on Mars. I'm pretty sure there's no way this is planet Earth anymore. <laughs> Except I don't know if it rains like this on Mars. <laughs> uh, it's pretty. All right, so apparently in the middle of nowhere, there's a disc golf course. <laughs> I don't know who put this here, but it must have been some very dedicated disc golfers. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, is that the aid station? I feel like that's too early. We're about 28.6 according to my watch. Uh, I think it's pretty accurate. I took my first wrong turn at mile 10. <laughs> we only went 0.1 miles. There was like a Congo line of like 30 of us just following one another. To be fair, there was a junction that wasn't marked at all. Um, but we realized it pretty quickly and uh, got back on course. Um, yeah, it's crazy out here. But making friends, having good conversations, smiling, laughing, despite the rain, I haven't seen one frown out here. All right, we're here at about mile 30 with Ramon. We've gone like 15 miles or so now, Yeah, I think. Uh, we have a 26 mile section. We're about to knock out. Uh, we'll probably get there at like midnight, which is fucking crazy. I know, man. Totally, How insane yeah. is that? Uh, but this is really we're cool. We're doing it. We're making it. Yeah. One step at a time. Uh, slowly but surely. Yeah, there it is. The sound of another mile being clicked away. <laughs> sweet, sweet glory. But it's beautiful out. Beautiful here. Gorgeous view. Yeah, I know. It's raining, but better than 110. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we tried to pet Howie Stern's dog, but she was afraid of us. Uh, <laughs> maybe next time. <laughs> uh, all right, let's put that. So we have physical evidence that there is in fact sunlight on Mars. <laughs> it exists. It's it real. <laughs> it's real. Uh, We're not hallucinating yet, by the way. <laughs> there is sun and there's also apparently blue skies. Right over there. It's the first blue skies we've seen all day, literally. It rained from like mile 10 to 
mile like 30 basically 30, yeah. uh, so it's good to see some sunlight um what else oh yeah i smashed two hot dogs and uh and uh, a grilled cheese at that aid station so that was kind of cool oh, yeah. haven't gotten the haven't gotten the bragging rights to say i've done that until today uh <laughs> and uh also have all these oreos on me i hope you can see here are my my ud waist belt i just packed like all these oreos for this 26 mile section stefan will be the new oreo cookie monster <laughs> we were trying to think of uh we we're trying to think of um a name for road oreos <laughs> the best i came up with so far is rodeos <laughs> rodeos but uh it's a work in progress and we have about four days to figure this out <laughs> so we'll get we'll get it done we'll find a name for it <laughs> uh, Colorado River. it's beautiful though <laughs> yeah uh, on a serious note let's see we're at mile 32 and a half about been going after it for about 10 hours and 20 minutes uh it's going well we should hit the mile 55 aid station probably around 11 p.m or midnight or so somewhere around there i think um but yeah yeah who knows it's really pretty on this section maybe we'll just stay here all day <laughs> okay so this is just unbelievable <laughs> I've never been on a course quite like this one before. This this race has been like walking through a fantasy land so far. Wow. It's 5.05, we're good. Got about an hour and a half till sunset. This would be a cool spot to watch the sunset. Actually, it is. But we don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, we'll nice. come back after the race. <laughs> we can come back and clank beers with our yes. 240 belt buckles in hand. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I guess I'm gonna... Oh, you're recording? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna <laughs> tag along with you. Like, I seriously want to like finish with you. Like, yeah. The fun is fucking amazing. You can ask. That's like. what he says when the camera's on him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're like moving around here. It's been fun. We've been soaking the rain, but it's all good. <laughs> We're still moving. That's a good sign. We, we had a lot of food on the previous aid station, so we're all pumped up. Yeah, we're good to go. Yeah, good to go. Whew. What beautiful view will be around this bend. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh you mind? Oh, yeah, I got that. Unbelievable. We're about to get a hell of a sunset. Wow. <laughs> oh man. Goodness. <laughs> this is crazy pretty. I don't think words can describe like the beginning of this course, like how pretty this whole day has been.
our sunset for day number one coming to a close and I have gone 57 miles now or something. Miles. We just left uh, mile 71, 8 station. We got Clay as a great pacer. He's going to lead the way. Sherpa Clay. He's yeah. going to take us to Shea. <laughs> Clay Shea. Uh, Shea Mountain. So Clay's going to go 50 fucking miles with us. Last night was, uh, uh, we did well. Um, so there was that marathon long section that yeah. we started at like 3.15 in the afternoon. And, and that took us until 11 o'clock at night. I have never bonked so fucking terribly in my life. <laughs> and I was like a fucking war in my head and with myself. Uh, pulled cookies out of the cookie jar as Dave the God. Oh no, it say. just turned off. No, no, it's still gone. But uh, pulling cookies out of the cookie jar. I was so t I've never wanted to sleep so much at, at fucking 8.30 p.m. And I'm thinking <laughs> to myself, like, why the fuck is this happening? I've run so many races where, like, haven't uh or like I don't I didn't usually get tired until like 4 a.m. So I had to dig deep. We're going through canyon lands. It's pretty insane. Oh man. Day two of the Moab 240. We're getting after it. I'm tired as fuck. I can feel that one hour of sleep. But we're still moving at a good pace. Should be at mile 85 around uh, noon today. Beautiful, perfect weather. Like 60 degrees or so. Slight breeze. We're following the ginger Jesus. to the 15 minute coffee nap where you down a cup of coffee and uh, go to sleep for 15 minutes <laughs> and uh, wake up 15 minutes later and the coffee kicks in so you get rolling. So that's what we did before this section. I have about 10 miles left to Bridger Dat Jack, I think. Uh, but yeah, this is a crazy section. Uh, it's hot out, it's a little different than yesterday. We're getting all the challenges thrown at us in some way or another. But uh, it's going pretty well, I think. You got anything, Clay, you want to say? Yeehaw, motherfuckers. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
say geez. <laughs> All right, so we're not hallucinating yet, but I think that thing in the rock looks like, that looks like a bear. And the one next to it looks like a gorilla right there. Hope it comes out on the GoPro. <laughs> I don't know if that's called a hallucination. Probably more an illusion, I think we said. <laughs> yeah. I uh, verify. It looks like these things. <laughs> Clay's been out here for like uh, 25 miles or so. And he slept for more than an hour last night. And he's telling me that I'm not crazy. So uh, we're getting there. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Oh, and pancakes and a burrito. It's going? Mm hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, so the night we went up to Shea Mountain with Clay, Melissa, and Ramon. Uh, Bridger Jack had absolutely no food, no to go food at all. Um, I wanted to fill one of my bottles with like Coke so I could get some caffeine for the road. They had enough to fill my bottle halfway, but I also wanted Coke at the aid station to drink. So. Like, literally, they had nothing. Um, and what was it? It was like 7.30 when we left. We didn't have much of an option. It was either DNF, roll out at that point, or uh, or uh, sleep there for a little bit. But it was it was a cold night. So it's a good thing we left. Um, that section took like nine and a half hours. It was about 19 miles. It was absolutely brutal. Uh, yeah, that was that was one of the hard, that was probably the hardest section I've ever done. Um, but yeah, now we're games today. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> uh, for this 19 mile section, coming down from Shea Mountain, watching the leaves change colors. Very pretty. Bringing out some uh, sub 20 minute. Mount. 20 minute miles. Yeah. Feeling good at mile like 120. 123. Yeah. 123, 124 or something. Um, Insane, dude. Yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> this has been quite the adventure. Uh, I think that's all I got for now. All right, hi everyone. Stefan here on sunrise number four of Moab 240. We just left, uh, we just left uh, 167 aid station. We're on our way to Pole Canyon. Uh, we didn't really get a whole lot of video yesterday as uh, uh, the GoPro batteries were all dead. <laughs> But uh, it's 
been it's been tough. Yesterday was quick. We we did from 9 a.m. to 1 a.m. We did like 43 miles, so that was really good. Um, got another three hours of sleep this morning. Three hours the day before as well. Uh, I'm happy to be going through the LaSalle section. Um, in the daylight hours, it'll be a little warmer at least. I'm sure we'll be out here later tonight though. Um, but the majority of it will be done in the day, which is good. Uh, what else? This year is the snow course. So, uh, not the traditional LaSalle section because of a storm rolling in tomorrow night. Um, but, yeah, this race is tough. This race is tough. <laughs> you got anything to add, Brian? Uh, nope. I'm, like you said, man, I'm glad about uh, doing this crap and the, starting it at sunrise. We get to see this beautiful sunrise out here. <laughs> see all these beautiful colors in the air. Uh, in the sky and uh, the coldest part of the course is going to be in the daylight for the most part and then uh, once it turns night and gets really cold we will have a car and crew to uh, warm us up a little bit extra yeah hopefully we can keep moving and uh, uh, bank some time for the last 30 miles tomorrow, which is, I think it's relatively flat. Um, just, we just need to be able to walk it in. That's all we really need to do. We've already walked the majority of the last four days anyway. Yeah, this is tough. But it's pretty easy to keep going forward when, whenever the times get tough. It's not much thinking to be done. I know I'm capable of more, and uh, and for that sole reason, there's really no there's really no arguing inside. It's just you're capable of more, so keep putting one foot in front of the other and get it done. That's all I got. All right, here we are at mile uh, 186, something like that. This is wild. It's really pretty up here in the LaSalle's. We're doing the snow route. Uh, there is a storm blowing in tonight. Um, so we got to do this uh, 22 to 24 mile section or so. Um, decently fast. Hey, keep it up, man. Uh, just spent about an hour at that last aid station. Got my right shin rolled out a little bit uh, from the PT. It's like getting a massage rather than going to PT. I wish I could spend all day there. Um, let's see. Got some food in us. Um, doo -doo -doo. Trying to think what else to update on. We're making really good time. You know, we've been spending a good amount of time at aid stations to eat a lot, get caffeine. But when we're on the road, we mean it. We're going like three, uh, three-ish miles an hour, maybe just under as an average, uh, even on like the last section with like 3,500 feet gain. So we're doing pretty solid. Brian, what else, what else do you got to add? Yeah, we're going on a going back on this little out and back spot. It's all good. The route's a little bit longer, but also less elevation gain. That's true. The route's a little longer. However, um, at least my watch has been clocking a lot of the sections a little bit short. Um, so I don't know. I feel like this is more like the Moab 230, um, which with mileage off benefiting me 
it's definitely a mental boost. Uh, whenever, um, whenever I see an aid station a little earlier than expected, uh, so that's really nice. But um, at the end of the day, we're going over 200. 20, 230 miles, no matter what. So, whew, everything is all good. All right, I'm gonna put this away so we can focus on our grind and getting to uh, Porcupine Rim safe and sound and beat out this storm. Caught my beard, man. <laughs> oh man, we were taking the snow walt route through the LaSalle's. It's quite the bushwhacky section. These trees are beautiful. Makes for some good scenery. As we twist and turn our way through the LaSalle's. I think we're going over this little, I don't know if this would be considered a pass or not, but we're going up. At mile 195 or something. Somewhere around there. Oh wow. Woo. Me one. Yeah, you're on. Oh man. So we're at mile 221 and besides to snow out, <laughs> uh, I like fell asleep in my car. They left me in the car while they were getting me food and I fell asleep for like, I don't know, 15 or 20 minutes probably. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't supposed to sleep. They got upset with me. Uh, <laughs> but uh, man, I woke up to a totally new universe. Um, <laughs> all of the snow appeared in that 20 minutes. Yeah. Fucking wild. Um, <laughs> But we're up on Porcupine Rim, and we were just told that uh, there's only snow for about another mile. Um, or we just walked out of the A station, so it should just be a mile of snow. But still, really crazy. Didn't expect this in both. Yeah, like, man, 19 miles left. How are you feeling? I can't believe this is reality. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought. I don't know. It's one thing to like dream of this, like finishing a race like this. It's another to like see it happen. So this is pretty sweet. Hey, staff man, how you feeling? 19 miles? It's snowing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at this point, like, why the fuck not just laugh? <laughs> uh, we're gonna make it snow or, snow or not. <clears throat> yeah, it's very beautiful up here. Kind of quiet. It's, it's snowing. Uh, Moab 240. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Steph just took a power nap, ate some food. He's looking good. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy.
we are at mile 125 of the Moab 240 something like that <laughs> we're gonna finish it up we're on the porcupine rim trail and it is absolutely beautiful <laughs> yeah it's amazing out here Steph is uh, moving pretty well too so definitely makes it a little easier that. yeah just enjoying this view for a moment Wow, this is crazy. Yo, they're right up here too. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's sick. That's so nice. <laughs> this is crazy.